Hi everyone, thanks for stopping back for part two of the lattice video. Uh, real quickly, I'll just recap. In part one of the video, we created a simple lattice to place on the front of a card. We then created a lattice with a solid piece left in the middle that would not be cut out. And then a second piece cut from white cardstock that you would adhere to the front of the cut card and that would be where you would place your embellishment or your stamped image or whatever it is that you're working with on your card. What I'd like to show you in this video, uh, a couple of things actually, but first off I'd like to show you that you are not limited to just working with squares or rectangles when you're using lattices. You can also use other basic shapes as well hearts, stars, moons, whatever it is that you want to use for your project. Uh, I'm going to run through that with you real quickly. You would either draw a shape or select a shape from the shapes menu. Oops. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see in the video and I'm going to change my stroke width to zero. The next thing you'll want to do is with your shape selected, go to your tools menu and select outline. The thickness of your outline I like to use about 0 0.1 and click on the apply button. As you can see now, you have two shapes. You've got your, your center shape and your outline. When that cuts, that's actually two separate pieces. I'll show you in wireframe. And you don't want to apply the lattice to both pieces, only to the center shape. So select your center shape, go to your lattice tab, select the preview button, adjust the height and the spacing and just kind of visually get that looking the way you would like it to look. Use the angle slider to adjust the shape of the lattice pieces. When it looks the way you would like it to look, click on the apply button. With the lattice pieces still selected, change the fill color to white and again change your stroke width to zero. Now I'm going to zoom in on this so that you can see it better. And I'll go to wireframe once to show you the cut lines. And there you go. Wasn't that easy? The next thing I would like to show you is that these pieces are fully editable. When you've clicked on the apply button, your lattice pieces will be selected and they'll be grouped together. Before you can do anything else with them for uh, editing or changing anything, you'll need to go to your shape menu and break that group. Once the group is broken, you can select individual pieces, you can delete pieces, move pieces, you can use any of the editing tools you can round corners, you can change segments or replace segments. Anything that you would do with other vector shapes you can do with these lattices as well uh, because the lattices are just uh, small vector shapes uh, placed together in a repeating pattern. The next thing I would like to show you, and I'm going to remove this outline, because I want just the lattice pieces right now. I'm going to select those lattice pieces and change the fill color so that you can see them. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see them better. 
a really cool feature that you can use along with the lattices is the decorative scissor tools. With your lattice pieces selected, switch from your lattice tab to the scissors tab. Select the decorative scissor that you would like to use. Adjust the size if you would like to and click on the apply button. That didn't quite turn out how I hoped. I'll leave the size small and click on apply. Now as you can see that creates a really neat effect. So pick different shapes. You can mix and match different shapes. Um, you can put stars inside of rectangles or rectangles inside of ovals. Just mix and match, play with the different shapes, play with the lattice feature, and see what you can come up with. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Check back soon. We've got quite a few more coming in the very near future. Have a great day.